Hello guys and welcome to another video. So uh, let's get started by importing the assistant.io. Okay. Uh, so in this video, what we're gonna do is to write a uh, document using uh, another function uh, within the file class, uh, but that's uh, this is a little bit different from the previous one. So this works with several uh, strings. Okay. Actually, we're gonna create a string array. So, uh, if you guys remember uh, the last video, uh, we did that. Okay, so let's create a string array called docs, which stands for documents, and we're gonna initialize with some sentences. Okay, separated by comma inside of uh, color brackets. So the first document we're gonna be uh, this is the first document dot this okay this is the the second document so let's just stick with these two documents okay this two strings inside of this string array okay so we have the uh, this is a string and this is another string so uh if i want to write this into a uh, text file what I could do is to basically call write uh, file dot write all text, but uh, as you guys can see, uh, that's some information here that this function what it does it creates a new file, writes a specified string, and then close the file. And if the target file is received, it overwrites. So if uh, we need to pay attention, okay, uh, for to some to some details, uh, for instance, let's say that I. I have this path um, document dot txt, and let's say that I want to write um, these two strings inside of this document. I, I could not do this. I, I'm just showing you guys why. Let's pass path and docs. Uh, the first document would be docs index zero uh, file dot write the text path, and the second document would be docs index one. So if I run this, uh, you guys will see, uh, theoretically, you could imagine that I would have a document with two, uh, with these two documents, but in reality, we, we what we're gonna do is to over overwrite that file. If I'm gonna, I'm gonna close it up, and I'm gonna open up this uh, document, and I'm gonna be only be able to see the second, okay, Let's see, just um, I'm gonna only be able to see the second uh, document. That's because when I call the write all text, I'm overwriting the the document. So the previous content will be lost. So this is not a good idea. Okay, just keep that in mind. Uh, so to write several uh, strings, what I could do is to convert them into an array. In this case, I already have an array, and I'm just gonna call file dot uh, write all uh, lines, okay? And I, it receives uh, the path and the string array, which is the docs, okay? So if I do this and I execute, uh, I'm gonna open up the file document, and now I have the two documents uh, right it they already have the line okay it automatically uh, pens a new line so you guys will have them separated by lines in the text error so that's um, the video guys I hope you like and see you guys next time